Hey everybody, before we watch the video, I just want you to know beforehand, this was one of the hardest cooks and videos I've ever done. Not only from the editing, but the fact that we're cooking just in a charcoal stove. There was so much concentrated heat in this thing. My biggest fear was burning that steak and burning the potato. It's not like just throwing it onto the Weber kettle or onto the pellet grill. I mean, it was just on this. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoy it. Please keep in mind, it's just an experiment. So thank you everybody for watching. Let's watch the video. Hey everybody, you're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I'm your man, Mike Wolford. And today we're doing, it's kind of an experiment for me and we are going to see if we can cook a steak on a charcoal chimney. This is full of charcoal right now. We're gonna light it here in a moment. I actually did a potato recently on it and the first potato was no bueno it, was, it came out really bad the second potato was spot on so I want to see if I can do a steak and I have here just a New York steak boneless so the first thing we want to do is we want to light our charcoal we're gonna use a, a new thing to light it let's light the charcoal all right so we got our thing here for lighting the charcoal let me just light this Get it going here, perhaps. Let's say it's a fire starter. Kind of going. I don't know if you can see that. It's, screw it. So to light the charcoal, we're actually going to use a paper towel. Just going to get it going here a little bit. Throw it underneath. And then this, of course, just like any other time that we use the stove on the Weber kettle, it's gonna ignite the, the coals and heat it up. When this is done, we'll get ready to start making the potato. So here's our potato. Just gonna dab a little bit of EVOO on it. Extra virgin olive oil is, you know who likes to say EVOO. Just a little bit like that, right? And then, We're going to throw it on some tin foil, put a little butter down around it. Before we do that, we need to take our fork and kind of stab it a couple times. I don't know how many times you want to stab it. I just like to stab it so the EVOO and the butter can get in there. Time to wrap it up, seal off the sides. That's perfect. Now let's put it on to our charcoal in the stove. It's been about 30 minutes. As you can see, our charcoal is uh, it, its starting to gray up. There's a lot of heat down below. Next thing we're gonna do is just take the grate from the barbecue, place it on here. With our grate on top, now we're gonna put our potato down. Now here's the thing. You have to watch this because there's so much concentrated heat below it. This thing is gonna cook a lot faster than a, it normally would. So we're gonna check it here in about five minutes, probably flip it. As soon as it's done, we're gonna take it off and start on our steak. So there's our steak. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of EVOO over the top, just a wee bit, nothing crazy. I'm gonna massage it in there a little bit. That's a good looking steak. Turn it over, do the same thing to it. Massage it in there real good dry my hands. I can actually hear the butter in that potato going. I don't know if you guys can or not. So I'm going to take some Uncle Steve's thick meat. And this is a big old piece of steak. And I'm just going to lay it on over good. Now pat it down. Real good like. Flip it over. And do the same. You can put whatever your favorite, you know, salt, pepper, garlic mix, whatever you'd like over it. I think you're going to be happy with it, but I just like the Uncle Steve's. All right, guys, our potatoes cooking, our steaks ready to go here at any moment. We'll be right back. It's been seven minutes, and I can hear the butter inside the potato just going to town. So I'm going to flip it just like that. We're going to give it another seven minutes, and then we're going to move it off to the side and let it continue to cook. All right, guys, it's been another seven minutes. And you can see it's steaming on here. That's a good thing. So I'm gonna turn it off to the side, just like that. I'm just gonna kind of 
place it off to the side because there's still a boatload of heat in there. I just kind of let it do its thing. We're going to give it another seven minutes, then we're going to flip it again, and then we'll show you what it looks like. It's been seven minutes, time to flip it again. So I'm going to put it on this side now, and uh, yeah, we're going to give it another seven minutes, and then we're going to take it off and check it out. All right, guys, seven minutes down, time to take it off. It does kind of feel a little squishy. I'm going to take it off, put it over here on the plate. Let's open this up, take a look at our potato. Wow, that's looking good. Squishy, but it's not quite there, guys. I'm gonna put it back on for another seven to 14 minutes, and then we'll check it out again. Looking good, though. All right, guys, it's been 14 minutes taking this off. It's kind of squishy. I'm gonna cut it open just like butter just like butter oh my goodness yes liking this you do it how you like it i love this i mean this thing's going to be just perfect guys so now it's time for our steak let's do our steak it's steak time guys so we're just going to put it on like that we're going to give it about a minute twist it so what we're doing is we're looking for those grill marks flip it do it again okay guys let's just take a look at our grill marks look at that Turn it over like that. We're gonna give it another, well, that was about 45 seconds. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. You heard my alarm going off. That was, that's how I'm keeping track, guys. All right, guys, there's another 45 seconds. Look at those grill marks. The thing is, we really wanna be careful with this because we don't want this thing to just fry on here. We got so much concentrated heat here, we don't want it to fry. Look at that, put it like that, do our timer. Look at our grill marks, looking good. Off to the side now. What we're looking for here is that indirect heat just continually to cook our steak. Boy, it sure does smell good, dang. Been about a minute, guys. I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna check the temp on this. What we're looking for on the steak is for me to hit about 130. Right now, we're at about 100 degrees. We're getting close. Boy, that looks good. Try it again. There we go. 113 degrees right there. And about 100 right there. Looking good. Let's give it a flip. Oh, look at that. Sorry, guys, I'm already starting to eat the potato. I'm so hungry, and it is so good. For the potato, I use that. This, Uncle Steve's the spicier. Love that stuff. Well, that's hot. Let's check our temp. Sitting at 112, 115, perfect. We get a little closer in there, let it finish off. Guys, it's been about two minutes. My steak is starting to stall out. So I'm gonna put it back over. Kind of hit it up again, let, it, let the temp come up. But I am enjoying this potato. Got another two minutes, flip it. Let's check our temp out. 117. 106. Got another minute, let's flip. I don't want to burn this thing, right? Check it out. getting there guys so close been another minute let's check it out getting there guys we're getting close we're really getting close before this is done though those potatoes are gonna be gone I'm over here eating potatoes waiting for this thing <laughs> 
nothing like a good potato, guys. Mm. another minute check our temp oh that hit 130 on the dot 127 in the back so close guys so close Give another flip. See where we're at. Getting close. 135. Hit the mark, guys. Alright, let's pull it. That guys is a is a potato and a steak. I love my, I've already been eating this potato like I've been saying all along. So good. Hardly wait to get into that steak. Cut it open. Mmm. So good. Hardly wait, guys. Alright, time to try one piece out. Oh mm, my god. That is melt in your mouth. Steak right there. Oh my gosh. Mm. Try it with some potato. <laughs> Piece of potato fell off. That's okay. With a beer. That's totally what I'm talking about. You know, at some points it was kind of like touch and go, right? And I, I wasn't quite sure this was I was gonna be able to pull this off, but man, this steak is a bomb. It's a potato. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. So fucking good. We use the spicier on the potato. Uncle Steve's the spicier. And. Believe it or not, we used the thick meat, Uncle Steve's thick meat, on the steak, and it was spot on. Just spot on. One of my absolute favorites. Into the bite. Mmm. Once that thing hit 130, boom. We were there. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on this. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. We'll talk to you soon. The recipe's down below. Guys, give it a shot. I mean, depending upon how you like your potato, depends upon how long you cook it. Depending upon how you like your steak, depends upon how long you cook it, guys. But give it a shot. Guy once told me that if you have to put steak sauce on a, on a steak, you've ruined it. And there's no steak sauce required whatsoever on this steak. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Remember the dude abides this time with steak and baked potatoes. Talk to you later, guys. Thanks a lot.